Well guys, I'm off on another trip. I don't know where I'm going as usual, but I'm gonna head out west, out near Jordan River again and see if I can find something interesting. There was that spot that I drove past on the uh, recent video that just looked out at the ocean. Uh, and I wanna go check that out. It might be too dusty if logging trucks go by, but it's a beautiful spot. So I'm gonna go check that first. And my Jeep is so clean. It's just unbelievable. I've never seen it this clean. I waxed it the whole bit. It just looks great. Look at those tires. Well, that won't last long. So um, come along for the ride. We'll uh, see how it turns out. Now for the most annoying part though, gas. Although it's gone down a little bit. It's still stupidly expensive, in my opinion. That's where all the gas is. Quick little walk around in the Jeep, make sure everything's okay. Look how clean it is. Wow. Nice, right? All right. That's pretty noisy. Well, I've decided to try the odd beer when I go camping. So that's that guy, a bit burger. No idea. Uh, this is kind of cheap because I had it last time. Bex. Right in there. And this one, Peroni, huh? Italiano. So we'll give that one a go too. Wait till it's real nice and hot out and then glorp one of them down. All right, let's. Uh... Let's get the hell out of here. Well, I found this neat road. It goes quite a ways into the bush here, but doesn't seem to go anywhere and then it gets too thin and um, too scratchy. Even right here, it looks a little scratchy. Anyways, but no campsite. Keep looking, just keep looking. I'll find something. So the spot that I was thinking about is a ways up this road. Sorry, it's jiggly on the picture there. Um, and uh, it kind of overlooks the uh, ocean so I want to go and see what it's like but there's logging trucks that go by and boy they blow up a lot of dust right now so it might not be suitable but I'm just going to take a look anyways because it was a neat spot and up up we go boy it is a beautiful day today the next few days is supposed to be nice and hot and we're right near the ocean here so there's an ocean breeze, so that'll be nice. There's a bit of a breeze out, not much, but that's good for keeping the mosquitoes down. Anyways, let's see how we do. And they're like the leaves around it. The sign put up by whoever, Mosaic, with a nail in a tree, floats around on the breeze, basically saying, all the fun you had here is now over. That's super depressing. Well, anyways, um, I don't know, maybe these people bought it or something or they're sick of all the junk, but it's the end of an era for me. So on to uh, other things. This was also my place that I could come and shoot. So that's now over too. <laughs> so we'll have to find somewhere else. It's a little disappointing running into that uh, sign telling me I can't go to my place that I've been going to for so long. I don't know if it's because of garbage and stuff like that or if somebody new bought the place and just said, no, nah, we're done. Anyways, um, the spot up on the top there where I was uh, overlooking the ocean by the logging road was not too bad, but boy, if a logging truck went by, I'd be in a dust storm. I'd feel like I was in the middle of Iraq or something. So um, I'm going to go and check out a campsite that's near the uh, really pretty one that I was at uh, last time 
and uh, see what's available down there. I'm gonna go check it out anyways, and so I'm gonna be on pavement for a little while here, and I'll get back to you when I get there. I came by here last time and was curious what was down here. I didn't go, but now my curiosity is getting the best of me. There was kind of a hidden stop sign on the way out of this place too, so I don't know, it must be some, it was an old camp or something. I can't really tell. A, I've run into a few little campsites already. I just don't know. Hopefully there's somebody to turn around. Well, there's a camp spot right there with a view. shaky camera. I'm just getting lazy and not putting my Oswald action camera up there. to go. Um. And there is a what looks like a derelict vehicle. Uh, I have to go around it to get turned around though. been dumped. Windshield smashed. And the hood, you can't see it. Maybe I'll get it on the way back. Hood's full of bullet holes. That's encouraging. ends in a campsite. Well, isn't that fun? Maybe I'll stay here for one night. Look at that. That was a nice view over there. Well, I see we get out and take a look and see what's going on. He was nice. Yeah, this is nice and secluded. Well, what do you think? Should I stay in a place that's got shot up old decrepit cars on the side of the road and uh, absolutely beautiful, otherwise beautiful scenery everywhere with a reasonably flat little campsite here? 
and uh, this is the end of this road. I don't know what it used to be because it had like a tea bar thing, a ranch sort of entrance at the front and a stop sign going out. So at one time, maybe this was some kind of camp or something. I don't know. Literally my first activity on arrival to a place like this where I don't really know anything. Probably best to be safe. She's ready to go. Well, there it is. Camp is set up. Looks like I'm staying here. It's hot, too. It's um, scorching hot for the West Coast, which is what we always want and don't get enough of. So I deployed the awning so I didn't die of sunstroke. There we are. Looking pretty good. Now it's time for a beer. I'm trying a Bits bit burger and uh boy i'm certainly sweaty and hot from setting up camp and uh it's no big deal it's pretty easy to do you'll notice that i turned the jeep around pointed it on the trail outwards i really feel that's the smart thing to do I mean, i know nothing about this place but to leave all of a sudden doing a 200 point turn i don't think that would be feasible so i turned it around and it works out better anyway the awning is out here looking at this beautiful expanse just fantastic you can't beat it all that ocean and mountains anyways let's give this guy a try see what happens yeah surprisingly good well i brought one beer for each day so i'm now getting rid of this one early because it just feels like it because i've been working hard you know I don't know how much recording I'm going to do because, to be honest, it's not really a lot to do around here. It's just sit around. There'll be a long video just sitting around watching me drinking beer. Mm. 
Yeah, it's too long already, isn't it? Uh, my work, even though I'm about 99% retired, they asked me to work next month. So this is going to be the last video for a few weeks. And I might be able to get out for a couple of nights here and there, but I'm going to be pretty busy for the next month. Somebody left suddenly, and um, I did tell them I'd be available. So <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I did. So now I have to... Um, uh, go out there and pay the piper. But for now, I'm just going to have fun, relax, and um, then come back and talk to you again soon. If I was an eagle, I'd sit right there. But I'm not an eagle, so I'll just sit where I am. The view's almost as good. I'm not really hungry, so let's go with some Mr. Noodles. That's all I feel like eating. It's so hot, and I'm gonna make a cup of tea to go along with it. There's some pretty fancy meal prep there. Tea, Earl Grey, hot. Ah, oh, so good. It's looking pretty sweet in this light. I spent a lot of time cleaning it up in the last couple of days, including a lot of work on the plastic. So I used Mother's Back and Black, and I got all of the uh, fenders, and the door handles, mirrors, etc., and bumpers. I got it all back to, well, as close to factory black as I'm going to get it. It's looking pretty good though, right? Beautiful. Twilight is upon us. Well, this is a lovely time of day. It's uh, evening now, actually. The sun is going down, as you can tell, over that hill. It's quite beautiful. And the remnants of the light is glinting down on those trees. Beautiful. Let's zoom in. 
Isn't that something? I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going anywhere. I think I'm just going to stay here. We'll go and take a look at that uh, car with all the bullet holes in it, etc. But I have to tell you that it's little places like this that you find that are just, it's just crazy. You know, I didn't know this place existed this time of year. All the flowers around me and the beautiful view behind me, it's just ridiculous. It's amazing. And every time I go out, I find something interesting and different well i'm up in the tent getting ready for bed i'm gonna watch some uh, netflix but i'll see you tomorrow morning for coffee well that's not very nice to wake up to well it's looking pretty nice out there this morning it's really warm in here last night really warm uh i think i'm gonna wait though for the sun to come up a bit more or just crest over there because I think once the sun gets uh, right here these little nasty mosquitoes might kind of dissipate for a bit at least that's my hope well good morning everyone first thing I'm getting done though is uh, set up my solar panel in the right direction and uh, how's that for some high tech solar power right there <laughs> All right, finally it's coffee time. And uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning and it's okay right here in the shade. But the back of the Jeep, as you can see, is in the heat of the sun. And one thing about a stainless steel kitchen, boy, it gets really hot. So uh, you gotta keep the doors closed back there. It's not very good for the fridge to be in the dead hot sun like that. Anyways, gonna have some coffee, enjoy this beautiful place. And let's take a walk down to um, take a look at that car with the bullet holes in it right after coffee that's good it's good okay so let's see we go and take a look at the uh old car down there it's just a bit of a walk That's sure seen better days. Someone's putting some slugs in it or something else. Rifle rounds, maybe. Boy, what a mess. Somebody either just didn't want it anymore or got stolen and dumped, who knows? It's a big old gully down here.
with the money belt. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a money belt. Oh, it's cut like that. I wonder if it's a bullet that did that. That's bizarre. That's quite the cut. Tire. Those are ownership papers. Jeez. There's a lot of different holes in here. Let's see if this will open. Gotta watch out doing that because you get wasp nests in these things. Doesn't look like there's been animals living in it. Must be a story behind it. There's a big old bullet over right there, I'll tell you what. All right. Well, I think we've seen enough. Let's head on back. All that stuff really gives me a creepy kind of giant spider feeling. That was a bit of a hike and it was so hot. Fortunately, the helio shower has warmed up and uh, I've got hot running water. Oh, decent. The horror. The horror. You like my horrible apocalypse now impression? I tried. All right. Let's give this um, Peroni a try. See what it tastes like. That's good too. I didn't realize there's so many good beers out there. Yeah, but I'm not gonna drink too many because I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> you can't do that when you're drinking beer all the time. Any special occasion though, just for camping. Just one a day. That's all I want. <laughs> Silly. To be honest, this beer is just about frozen. It's so cold. I just love my A or B fridge. It um it really keeps things cold. Mind you, I've got it set um, because it's so hot and I'm getting so much fuel coming from the sun that I can um, I can afford to uh, have that thing run in full speed. And boy, this is one frosty, delicious beer right here. I'll tell you that much. It's so nice out. I'm sitting in the shade, though. Uh, after that walk, I actually went for another walk. And um, I, I got to tell you, it's it's sweaty hot. It's just uh, fantastic. On the menu tonight is chicken stew. 
the new batch. Well, dinner was delicious. That's the first meal I've had really since I got here because uh, it's been so hot, but I started feeling kind of hungry and peckish tonight. So I uh, had some of my new batch of uh, chicken stew, which was delicious. I'm just going to sign off now till tomorrow morning and just sit around and let the evening slip away quietly. Mmm, just brush freshness. Yep, I still keep everything in my bathroom in a box. It's very, very handy. Beautiful day. It looks like a fog bank out there. It's still nice and warm this morning. That's right in the sun and saying it's 30 degrees. I don't trust that 100%, but it was right yesterday because my truck said the same thing. But um, I don't know. You got a good thing. Sometimes it's hard to leave. It's not very adventurous of me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I toyed with the idea of getting up and going somewhere else, but. You know what, I haven't seen a solitary soul in three days. I don't think I want to start yet. So um, I think I'm going to stay here. Well, I've been sitting around. It's already uh, lunchtime. And my lunchtime is breakfast because I didn't have any. So it's the same as yesterday except with some color. Doing a little gardening. Just having a quick power check, see how things are going. Oh yeah, it's looking good. 13.4. Says the batteries. Well, it's full. You know. I realize that a lot of people like to put their solar panel up on the top of their tent and I think, though that looks kind of cool, uh, you can't move it. So I've opted to stick with this system, uh, you know, long cables, so that I can move it anywhere, so it's always in the sun. I mean, if it was up there right now, it wouldn't be doing me any good until this afternoon. So yeah, I'm. I'm pretty happy with just sticking with this. The old style. You know, sometimes when I get bored, I'll just sit down and try and write a song. Yeah, I just came up with this like three minutes ago. I've been dreaming about holding you again. I've been calling, baby, you'll never end. I've been wasting time that I should really be moving on. But I'm a man of love, so I'm writing you this song.
Then they stumble along through the night in the pouring rain. That's it. Wow, all that gardening and songwriting and singing made me really thirsty for my backs. My third and final beer of the camp trip. Ah, splendid, just when I needed. I'm gonna have this and then uh, in a little while make some dinner. And there's this guy hanging out in my shirt. Now it looks like it's snowed on the ocean. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Hey guys, I'm up on the rooftop tent again. Um, just looking out at the ocean, which I can't see because of the fog. I just thought it'd be fun to um, look at the little picnic that I've got going on tonight. I haven't really been eating properly since I got here. I've just it's been so hot, I haven't really been hungry. So tonight for dinner, I've just got um, a few assorted things that I didn't have while I was here. I've got some pumpkin seeds and some grapes and banana, a bit of cheese. And uh, so I'm going to uh, have that for my little evening snack while I edit this well, video. It's all buttoned down and I'm ready to head on home. There's just one more thing that I have to do before I leave. It's just been bugging me. I'll just have to see if there's a name on these papers, transfer forms for the vehicle. And it was never done by the looks of it. Well, it's a dumb way to end a video, but I really needed to know Here's another one. Nope, no name on that one either. All right, well with that, I'm gonna wrap the video up. Thanks for visiting Run For The Hills. We'll see you next time around.